Yo, is this person fucking retarded? Yes. Yo, is this person fucking retarded? Yes, he's actually retarded. Is that what you wanted to hear? He's retarded. So early fairy tale chapter this week. One of the major things about this chapter is we got Natsu versus Gray. Now, upon first glance of this, there's a couple different things you could gather from this. Upon first glance, though, it's like, why in the blue hell are you two fighting? Like, if anything, the major reason for all this, the catalyst of it all, is Zeref. Like, Natsu's basically fighting Grey to get out of his way so that he could go to Zeref. Grey is fighting Natsu because of the E&D thing, but first of all, with Grey, you know that that's your friend, right? Like, you realize that's your friend and that he has no control over him being this mythical creature known as E&D. So, why are you fighting him to the death at that when you know, at the end of the day, Natsu is still your friend? And, Natsu, why are you fighting him? Like, the bigger catalyst of this little particular fight in and of itself is the fact that they're both fighting, essentially, because they believe that their girlfriends or girlfriends-to-be are dead. Grey thinks that Juby is dead. Natsu thinks that Lucy is dead because you see a little flashback in the chapter of Natsu holding Lucy's body and that's basically what triggered him to go absolutely crazy although first of all how did he get loose to begin with like there's kind of something that doesn't quite add up in that little instance because initially it was that Demaria went to go kill Lucy or stab her through the eye and Natsu just went insane and killed her or not kill her hurt her severely or whatever but it was that he basically went crazy hurt her then saw Lucy and then went back into that mode of like being nuts or whatever like how did that actually work or was he in that mode the entire time because it seems as though he's still halfway there he's not completely out of his mind yet he's still Natsu just that he has all this anger and he's ready Ready to take on Zeroth. He's like, it's time to go, boy. But that was the biggest part of this chapter, honestly. Like, there was a couple other things, like Brandish with her wound and stuff like that, which it might come to haunt her later on if it doesn't get completely taken care of, because she tried to minimize it, but the damage is still done. And then, of course, Mavis with the tactician. It seems as though this is Fairy Tale's second win, so to speak, but at the same time, they still have chaos. And honestly, one of the things that a lot of people are critiquing and they don't necessarily realize is they're saying that Gray is an idiot for what he's doing. Why are you trying to kill your friend? Why not just get out of his way or go fight Zeref along with him but the thing about it is is that if you remember a couple chapters back it was set up that the longer Grey continues to go on and the angrier he gets his mind is going to be distorted by the curse so it's not that it's necessarily our 100% normal Grey that is doing this this is a Grey that is being kind of controlled in a way and his mind is being morphed into thinking like you know fuck this guy he's the source of all my problems when in reality the normal untapped Grey no pun intended by the way Juvia don't worry that's your dude wouldn't do that shit like he he wouldn't you know be that way so that's why gray is acting retarded it's not that he's retarded it's more so that he's mentally right now fucked up and being controlled in a way by this curse and then we even had a great setup at the end of this chapter with whoever the hell eileen is if she's heirs his mom or whatever the case may be the eye in the sky and stuff like that a lot of great stuff with this chapter of fairy tale i think in essence people are looking at it like there is no point for not so and gray to be fighting but it's two people that are controlled by things beyond their means like Natsu really can't control himself that well right now and neither can Grey and that's what people need to realize because I've seen people slam in this chapter and when a fairy tale chapter needs to be slammed I will slam it but this chapter it makes sense it, it all adds up why they're doing what they're doing but let me know what you guys think about this first of all do you think Grey has a snowball's chance in hell like no, <laughs> he doesn't. Natsu's gonna squish this motherfucker. It's still that probably Natsu is holding back a bit because he realizes, oh shit, that's Grey, but he, he could slaughter him if he really just let it all out. Like, he can easily get rid of Grey, no matter how much curse magic Grey has in him, Natsu E&D would fuck him up. And what do you think is gonna go down? Like, honestly, I think the end of the chapter is set up yet again with Eileen and stuff like that. I just wanna see Eileen versus Erza already. Like, that's what I wanna see. Like, can we cut to that already? Can they meet up and stuff like that so we can find out who Eileen is? That's definitely one of my favorite mysteries going on in Fairy Tale right now. And your overall thoughts of the chapter. Like, honestly, a very good chapter of Fairy Tale yet again. And I know a lot of people are thinking, well, well what's going on? What, well, you know, how are you giving that the score? It all makes sense at the end of the day. Not so and Grey. They're retarded, but with a reasoning. It's not just a complete bullshit. You know, it's not just like, hey, they're just acting stupid for the sake of it. They're both being controlled. So I'd say eight and a half, eight around there. Still very good. Not as great as last week's, but still some good shit. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything i had to say or enjoy the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and stalk my facebook to get more when the video ends i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day